There's a few setbacks to this year's ITSIT projects. I'd looked up some symbols of hope for Ron Rudland's Hope concert, and he never made a decision about what he wanted to do. And then Rita Cuevas wanted to make worry dolls for her Spanish class, and I actually made one. And this little doll is actually three times the worry doll she actually has in examples, and we realized the boys could never do that. Visited Day of the Dead projects with Kelly Matt's class, inspiring them with some Day of the Dead cookies. And this year we use black paper and fluorescent chalk pastels and fluorescent glitter. And they turned out more Day of the Dead-ish and um, the kids loved them. On a larger scale this year, I actually went in and helped um, consult with the kids and Mr. Dyer on Beauty and the Beast sets. Um, I looked up Beauty and the Beast sets from different um, high schools and then I would go in with the kids like once a week and say repaint this, do this differently um, and just make it more illustratively decorative the way he wanted it. Another ITSIT project that Dean Dyer and I talked about last year was actually using science fiction and mythology and mashing them up together for a final project. And so I created this little video here where we actually went through the design thinking process of what would I do since I've never taken the class to do actually take a mythological figure and something that was really close to it in a science fiction and went through this whole process of this movie ended up picking the goddess Bellona and Princess Leia from Star Wars uh, created a drawing and ended up putting her on a background that was computer generated and then when Mr. Dyer did the whole project with the kids I went in on the day they presented so the kids would have to stand up in front of class tell them what science fiction character and what mythological character and how they mashed them up and why. What was the related elements that made them mesh upable, if that's the correct term. And so here's some examples of the kids' work. What I have coming up next is we're revisiting the Surrealism Project with Kim Raper's class again this year and we're going to do some book art later on in the semester. I'm also working with Russ Hoy, and we are going to do Kabuki Theater masks and Kumadori masks. So some of the kids are going to get a mask that they can cut out of paper and add some of the demon features to it. They are also going to do um, theater makeup in some of the classes, and then they're going to actually have real masks that they can paint. Art of Males class, we decided not to do this around December, but now we're doing it in March. We're going to make animalitos out of clay and they're going to decorate them in paint. And then with John Anderson's kids, we're going to take pictures of the presidents. The kids are going to write the words in the values of what each president represents and information about them. And then it's all going to go up on the wall and kind of look like Mount Rushmore. I'm also going to work with Dean Dyer and Kim Messer again on portfolio covers for the um, English 11 classes. In other art news, the National Art Honor Society students gave ornaments to the wear shelter again. This time we were in the paper with a write-up. They are also doing a word art in a panther head shape in the comments. And then what I've been doing with my students this year is, actually I've been doing it for the parents, is using Animoto to record all their work and then sending them a link. So the parents actually have seen every single art project. And you can follow me on Twitter where I have been putting all their Animotos and all their art projects. Finally, I redid the concept watercolor for the courtyard for the Western Educational Foundation for the open house, and I'm hoping this will help us sell more bricks.